and welcome to my new video today we learn about the secant method or we can say chord method in this method we can learn how to solve the transcendental equation with the help of this method here from beginning how we use the two values in this method we also need the initially two values of the given function we can consider the root lies between this and this value then we can start with both the values then the formula for this method direct approaching for the formula we don't go for how to derive this x n plus 1 is x n minus x n minus x n minus 1 f x n minus function of value of x n minus 1 into f of x n it means if we want to find out the second irritation so x0 and x1 is the two values with v is the initial value either they are given or we have to decide with these two value we start first irritation x2 is x1 minus x1 minus x0 value of function at x1 minus fx0 into multiply with fx1 similarly for x3 we use x1 and x2 for x4 we use x2 and x3 and so on so now i will show you one example how to use these formula to solve the given equation so question is use the secant method to estimate the root of the given equation with the initial guesses x1 or we can say x0 equal to 0 and x1 equal to 1 so they give given sometimes they give the values so we they are they give the two values x0 is equal to 0 and root, one root lies of this equation between these two so we start with this value substitute the values x0 here x1 here first we have to derive the value of function at the same point so what is f of x0 means f of 0 and what is f of 1 if we have these two values then we proceed so we see f of 0 f of 0 is 1 e to the power 0 is 1 and f of 1 f of 1 is e to the power minus 1 into minus 1 is given by minus 0.626321 so these are the values we substitute here and solve it then our first equation will come it gives the value 2 7 0 clear when this comes then we go for the next third irritation x3 x3 is the third irritation it gives when substituting the values using x2 and x1 for x3 then x3 will become uh, 0.56384 now again using this two x2 and x3 finding the fx2 and fx3 and substitute here in the formula we go for the next iteration next iteration x4 is 0.56717 again next 0.56714 so if we can say up to four decimal place it will be repeat we can say hence our root of the given equation is given by 0.5671 all in this irritation methods we have the particular steps we which we have to repeat constantly just main thing is our calculation is correct if when we operate the calculator or we, our calculation will be doing either we skip the minus sign or anything then it will goes wrong if our calculation is correct then it will be definitely comes the correct answer so this is the second method second method is just like the previous method you have to solve start begin with the two initial value and solve substituting those value and the value of function within the formula and just irritate up to the value will be repeat that's all for the second method thank you very much